Life Finance Global YouTube channel. It's my pleasure to be with you again. Today we are going to discuss some tricks when it comes to the candlestick charts. Well, I think it's going to be very useful and doesn't matter if you are a beginner or advanced trader. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so let's discuss some important tricks when it comes to the trading the markets and I'm not talking only about the FX, it's going to work on crypto, it's going to work on uh, indices, it's going to work on the oil, gold uh, and it's going to work on each and every time frame, right? Uh, well, we were discussing this uh, a few times, uh, maybe not in the details, uh, the deep, we were not diving deep, but the topic is buying into the weakness, selling into the strength, right? And we are going to try to go a little deep, deep deeper, uh, we will try to dig deeper today, and still, it's a conservative approach uh, with quite a reasonable stop and very often giving you three, five and even more reward to risk ratio. So what is all about how to buy into the weakness and how to sell into the strength? So as I mentioned, it's going to work on almost every asset class. The more liquid, or I would say different way, try to trade it on the very liquid uh, assets because uh, you are not going to be wiped out accidentally. All right. If you are going to be stopped out, then you are going to be stopped out because something uh, opposite has happened. All right. So what we have here, as you can see, is a one hour dollar yen chart. All right, as you can see, we are going to go through the indices. We are going to go through the crypto and crude oil as well. I got a few examples. So as I mentioned, it's going to work uh, on every asset class. This is a one hour chart and you should already know. I've been explaining this quite a few times. When we have, so when I have a green line on the chart, meaning that it's related to the daily chart, meaning that I have some resistance, all right, and I have some uh, supports uh, already highlighted on the chart. So this, what has happened here and here, it was the weakness, all right? What has happened here and here, it was also the weakness. Now, the weakness very aggressive weakness, as you can see here, and as we can see here, the first one, aggressive weakness, was into the intraday possible demand. So we took out some stops and we were trying to consolidate. And one more time, number two, aggressive selling off just to early candles into the green line, meaning into the support from uh, the daily chart. Now, so we know we've seen some weakness, okay? Of course, as a trader using different strategies, you were able to buy aggressively into the support, right? Uh, trying to hold one of these lows, okay? With the very tight stop, but that's the aggressive approach. You don't know if we are not going to make bigger waterfall stopping you out. Now, that's the first phase of this uh, buy the weakness, sell the strength strategy. We have to recognize what and where we are, what is going on on the chart. Then we have to see the rally of that possible support taking out the latest weakness. So that was our latest weakness over here, okay? 
And then the game start. That was the another weakness, right? Because we took out two of them, it is possible to try to trade the first one. I would be very careful, all right? No more than two approaches. Uh, as you can see, it was even more. Uh, we were bouncing. So let's just try to be careful, cautious, try to trade just two eventually. And then finally, uh, we broke through that weakness and we went into the second and into that one, right? Usually, uh, you may try to approach this uh, trying to scale in. What I mean by that? Well, you taking the rising distance and you may want to buy at the top, that would be the first buy, and in 50% of that rally, right? So mid of that one, right? So you may try to scale in. If you are watching on a smaller time frame, you may want to watch for some price action on one minute chart to try to determine where is your entry, right? And where is your stop? And that's the most important and funny thing here because you are taking the rally into the consideration. So you've got like two, three pips below the low of that rally, all right? So let's place, let's place the line just to just to show you okay that we wouldn't be as as i mentioned two three pips below okay it wouldn't be stopped out that's how the things very often looks like so that was your distance between the entry and the stop in worst case scenario if you enter it at the top all right okay and that was the one two three four four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It was even 10 if we are going to go further with that chart over here, okay? So that's how the things looks like when it comes to the buying uh, the weakness, all right? Again, guys, please do your own research, do your own homework. It's not a holy grail. You may face series of losses before you are going to hit a home run like we have the one over here. Let's have a look what we have when it comes to the opposite tray and trying to sell, trying to sell the, uh, the weakness, all right? So in that particular case, we are going to discuss uh, this Riley. Here, I don't have any lines. I'm going to try to show you and then it's gonna be easier probably for you to determine uh, to determine uh, what you have to look for. So that was the thing we've seen when it comes to the Riley, right? New high, as you can see over here, strong rejection. We uh, got back below some kind of the supports, okay? As you can see. So here we are interested in this Riley. So we are interested in here, right and 50 percent of that somewhere here okay and well the stop the stop is going to be few points above uh, the point over here so first attempt was here quiet move to the downside i'm pretty sure we hit 3r over here there was a another attempt to go short over here with either one and a half, depends how you are going to work with the stop, or in that case, we would be stopped out. But that's how we are selling into the strength, right? Into the strength which was broken, all right? You can make the measure if you wanna scale in, of course, you can make the measure using the, using the FIB and you've got your 50 percent over here okay so that's how we can do that uh, that way again please do hundreds of examples don't try to fall in love with three examples and moving all in and try to lose all your hard earned money okay that's not going to work that way again we have ethereum 
which is trying to break out and very interesting situation we have here. Why? Because that's the combination we are going to look at. All right. And as you can see, it was the usual, that was the usual supply, which worked quite a few times here. Okay. So that's the major, major weakness. If the market is going to be able to hold well above, then in the future, and that's going to be your full zone. All right. So some guys are going to try to buy the breakout immediately and that, that may work, but the stops are quite wide. So in that case, I would really make the measure of the 50%, all right? So in that case, that's gonna look like this. And well, the 50, the half of that Riley is a little bit lower as you can see so that might be your advantage and well to be honest with you we also have quite nice demands on there and i'm talking about what we have here so it's not the accident that at 50 percent we started to make higher and attempt to break higher all right like this so that's as you can see working fine working very well in that case may work very well when it comes to the crypto okay so finally let's switch and check what we have when it comes to the oil okay now that was the strong sell-off going back to mid-march right then the green line it was my support line based on the daily chart all right and what has happened weakness attempt to rally weakness so what was the next step wait for the market to take out this weakness first time rally second time big rally all right so as i mentioned trying to approach twice it's op optimum in my opinion i wouldn't chase the market next time next time next time because you know if the market is hitting some kind of the resistance very often the resistance is weakening because we are feeling the selling sell orders and it's easier to break higher the same with support if we are hitting the support quite often finally we are going to uh most probably we are going to break that support so guys please leave the comment below like subscribe if you haven't already do your own research hundreds of examples wish you great next trading session see you around take care and goodbye